Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Friday, March 13th. I'm James Spann. A cold front will bring cooler air to North Alabama today, some light rain at times, but the weekend looking pretty decent. We'll start with the upper air look across the country early this morning. And you can see we have troughing north of the state coming through the Great Lakes, pushing a surface boundary down this way. In advance of that, we have some light rain falling early this morning over about the northern third of Alabama, north of U.S. 278. And that band of light rain will shift southward today as the front moves gradually southward. Very mild. We're in the 60s early this morning. But again, uh, we're going to see numbers falling slowly through the 60s today. And parts of North Alabama could see upper 50s this afternoon, so not nearly as warm as yesterday when many spots saw 80 for the first time this year. There's the watch warning map. Look at all the winter weather issues back in the central and northwestern states. But down here, things are pretty quiet. We do note a dense fog advisory for the Gulf Coast region that will dissipate by mid-morning. No severe storms around here today and a cool, stable air mass. The risk of severe weather mainly over west Texas. Tomorrow, no severe weather expected. And on Sunday, just a marginal risk. Again, for parts of West Texas, there could be an isolated storm here, but I think a decent part of the day Sunday here will be dry. Heaviest rain for the next seven days, parts of Oklahoma and some of the adjacent states. For Alabama, the Tennessee Valley, about one and a half inches. Huntsville, the Shoals. Birmingham, about one inch. And under one half inch for South Alabama. And again, the Gulf Coast will be mostly dry. Great news for those headed down that way for spring break next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the OZ run, valid today at 4. Zonal flow here, troughing in the west. And again, a surface front drifting through North Alabama with a chance of some light rain at times today, nothing too heavy. Temperatures falling through the 60s. And if you're in Huntsville or Muscle Shoals or Scottsboro, you could wind up in the upper 50s this afternoon. But tomorrow, the front moves north as a warm front. And the better chance of rain should be north of the state over parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. The day should be dry, partly sunny with low to mid 70s. Very nice. Now, Sunday, we will mention the chance of a few scattered rain showers. Uh, the sky will be cloudy at times. Highs probably go back in the 60s as the front nudges south again. That thing's kind of meandering back and forth. This is Monday of next week. And again, there could be a few scattered showers, probably not too much rain, the high around 70. Tuesday, cloudy with a chance of showers. We'll be in the 70s. Same thing Wednesday. Pretty much the same thing Thursday. Maybe some severe storms Thursday of next week over the Great Plains if this works out with a surface low over eastern Colorado. And a week from today, Friday the 20th, upper high over the Gulf, upper low that's west of Los Angeles. And again, uh, that looks fairly quiet with a better chance of showers to the north of here. Let's go out 10 days. What do you say? This is Sunday, March 22nd. Same idea. I've got an upper low that's near Los Angeles, a zonal flow here, and maybe a few scattered showers. But really, there's no signal for any big severe weather problems or flooding issues here for the next 10 days. This is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean approaching 4 inches for the rest of March. Highs mostly in the 70s for the next 15 days. And the CPC outlook for March 20th through the 26th. And again, the southeastern states will likely see temperatures above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.